Hello and welcome to some EverQuest news for mid-March. I'm going to call it mid-March. So this is all the new stuff that's happened since the last news video. Uh, so if we go here on the main page, you can see that uh, Brew Day is back. Let's get celebrating here. You see a nice, uh, I don't know, it looks like an orc. Maybe a goblin having some fun there. What a time to hoist a frosty pint in celebration of Burrell. During our annual Brew Day Festival in EverQuest, grab your friends and guildmates and head out into Norrath for a few ales. Here's what's returning for this year. Best ships are friendships. There's a video for that on my channel. I believe I did it with one of my necromancers. Uh, this quest will have you gather materials and taking down some pesky mobs and crafting some items. And finally, sharing some delicious brew with others. You'll be handsomely rewarded for your efforts in spreading Brew Day cheer. Questline is only accessible if your server has unlocked Seeds of Destruction. So this is not on TLPs. Achievements. Just jump into the questline and you'll receive all the achievements as you complete the quests. Collection. Mischievous Bixie Prankster has absconded with some vintage toy boats and stashed them throughout Stonehive, and it's up to you to find the boats and get them back. This is a collection item. I believe you'll get 2% experience for uh, completing this. Uh, this event began at midnight and will run until March 26, 2024. So uh, get it done now. So go get your boats. All right. Uh, the EverQuest swag stores here. This was, uh, I think I missed this like by a day on the last video. Uh, but they've opened up a swag store where you can purchase items from the swag store uh, related to EverQuest licensing and uh, stuff like uh, the posters and uh, some t-shirts. Um, yeah, very nice. Very nice indeed. All right, and then Anniversary door, Tower Door 3 is unlocked. I have not done the mission yet, so I don't know what it is. So, uh, see, so you stepped out of the tower's second door covered in blo blood and viscera of your latest conquest and proceeded up the ambition behind the next door. Your mind wanders the thoughts of what you'll find, and you'll ensure your wits and weapons are both sharp as you unlock the door. You push the door open and smell a musty yet familiar odor. You barge the door and you instantly understand why you recognize the scent. Follow the shinies to your, find your way to the key to open the door. If you have not, if you have not slain what li lives behind the first two doors, you will still be able to dispatch them as well. Previously unlocked doors and heroic ventures will be up all year. Venture carefully and watch your step. Remember to seek out uh that person <laughs> while you're in the tower and to see what they're selling for the timeless tokens you can learn more there uh but the third door i'll do a video on that uh later today uh when i get into the game and then uh flippy barked up the info tree so this is uh see below for top tier ambassador edition tickets to flippy fest i have no idea what this is i think this is that uh event to travel to if you're uh, looking to do that so we know i've been waiting for the details so storing for you for flippy fest well here's some deal details are being finalized you can now provide more details about the ambassador ambassador edition ticket experience and souvenirs the in-person flippy fest event will begin friday june 14th at 20 uh, 2024 upon check-in you'll receive a unique Unique collectible badge, a spe specially cur curated swag bag, limited edition of the, of the hand numbered posters of Norrath. Wow, a lot going on in this. From EverQuest 1 and 2, a t shirt, a hoodie, additional surprise of collectible goodies. We'll meet and greet a signing party. We can get your collectible posters signed. An exclusive tour of the office uh, where the magic happens. And multiple chances to interact one on one with the dev team. Wow, how much is this? Uh, on Saturday, June 15th, we'll open our keynote showcase, our long story game history, fantastic moments in game to date, tease some cool stuff, and deliver announcements on what's coming up. We'll have some 
more panels for Q and A, both games, both of our in-person online participants. Meanwhile, our in-person attendees will receive more personalized experience with many opportunities to converse with the de developers. Wow. And get an inside look to what goes on developing these legendary games. We will provide continental breakfasts, catered lunches, both days, catered dinner, as well as a fancy, <laughs> fancy fantasy themed dinner, all with all the developers. Wow. There will also be a ton more fun sprinkled through of both days while mingling with the game teams and fellow gamers take the chance to take selfie reels <laughs> in the entire magical weekend oh my gosh this sounds crazy please keep in mind that the attendance is very limited and a third of the tickets are already sold don't wait too long to scare your spot and celebrate a year of the dark ball with 25 years of everquest and 20 years of everquest too included with this top tier <laughs> Fippy Fest Adi Ambassador Edition tier. What does this take? What does this take me to? How much is this thing? Fifteen hundred dollars. That's not. That's not terrible, I guess. Ah, I was thinking out of zero. Uh, specifically curated a swag bag, physical year of the Dark Paul backpack, limited edition hand numbered posters of Norath EverQuest one and two, one of a kind Fippy Fest T-shirt, unique hoodie hidden vault soundtrack with vinyl i got i got my soundtrack vinyl the first one that came out and it does not play very well <laughs> i was kind of disappointed uh see all the digital goods from the vip pack so you get a hat ornamentation blade ornamentations pet illusions two visages uh burrell and bristlebane oh bristlebane is ek2 uh goblet adventure threes and more access to in-person full day celebrations with dark paw and daybreak games in san diego california <laughs> had address provided upon uh purchase uh so i'm assuming you have to pay for your own airfare there on-site meals with the dark paw and daybreak staff including exclusive dinner with the dev team attendees Office tour with up close personal chances to see original Keith Parkinson paintings and other one of a kind items. Additional surprises. Wow, that's nice. Uh, so that that goes out for uh, fourteen hundred dollars. So uh, I guess it it's in one day. <laughs> I don't know. I've never heard it. It's it's in uh, June. So if you're interested in that, uh, you know, you can help out the game there and uh, do that. Uh, but that is all of the news I have for mid-March. I'm sure there will be more news and uh, more things to talk about uh, as the month goes on. But uh, thank you very much for watching and please have a fantastic day.